Hi guys, grab something tasty and get comfortable. Today we are diving into how to mine Bitcoin this digital gold. No need for a pickaxe or shovel. Watch this video till the end and maybe you'll be able to mine some gold yourself. Imagine a huge virtual mine stretching all over the globe. In this mine there are no pickaxes or jackhammers. Instead, there is an army of computers tirelessly solving super tough puzzles. Welcome to the world of mining. But hey, before we get into the world of Bitcoin, let me tell you about some bonuses from Leon from betting and gaming fans. Leon offers an amazing welcome bonus up to 4,500 Australian dollars on your first three deposits. 100% up to 500 AUD on your first deposit, 70% up to 1000 AUD on your second, 100% up to 3000 AUD on your third. For slot fans, there is a special treat. It's 10% cashback on all losses from Friday to Sunday, credited every Monday. MMA lovers can get a free 5 AUD bet and sports betting enthusiasts can double their first deposit up to 100 AUD. Did you see that? Incredible, right? Don't miss your chance, guys! Click the link in the description and start your journey to victory right now. Now, guys, let's get back to Bitcoin and start from the very beginning. So, what's Bitcoin? It's the first and most famous cryptocurrency created by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that exists only as records in a distributed database called a blockchain. And now guys, let's dive into mining. It all starts with transactions. When someone sends bitcoins, this information goes into a memory pool, a sort of waiting room for transactions. Miners like busy bees gather these transactions into blocks. Each block is like a page in bitcoin's giant ledger. But to add a new page, you have to solve a tough cryptographic puzzle. It's not just simple math, it's about finding a special number called a nonce. The nonce, when combined with the block data and, and run through SAH-265 cryptographic function, gives a result that starts with a certain number of zeros. The miner's job is to find this nonce. Sounds hard? That's because it is. This puzzle can only be solved by trying billions of combinations per second. Mining is like a giant lottery. Each calculation is like a lottery ticket. The more computing power a miner has, the better their chances of finding the right solution first. When a lucky miner finds the right nonce, they broadcast the new block to the network. Other nodes check if it's correct and if it is, the block gets added to the chain. The winner gets a reward in the form of new bitcoins and the transaction fees included in the block. But there's an important detail. The difficulty of the puzzle keeps adjusting. The Bitcoin network aims to keep the average time to find a block around 10 minutes. If miners get too efficient, the difficulty increases. If the network's power drops, the difficulty decreases. Plus, every four years there is a halving, the block reward gets cut in half. This keeps Bitcoin supply limited, there will only ever be 21 million coins. Today, mining has become a full-blown industry. In the early years, people could mine on their home computers, but now it's for the big players, guys. Huge data centers filled with specialized ASIC miners hum 24-7 in various parts of the world. These mining farms consume massive amounts of electricity. Some estimates say Bitcoin mining uses more energy than some small countries. This raises serious concerns among environmentalists. However, 
Bitcoin supporters argue that mining can boost the development of renewable energy, guys. For instance, in China, many mining farms use excess hydroelectric power during the rainy season. In Iceland and Sweden, miners use geothermal and hydropower. Interestingly, mining also helps tackle the issue of gas flaring in oil extraction. Instead of just burning off this gas, it's used to power mining rigs right at the extraction sites. But what's in store for mining's future? Many experts think that as block rewards decrease, miners will rely more on transaction fees. This could change Bitcoin's economic model. There are also efforts to develop more energy-efficient mining algorithms. For example, Ethereum, the second most popular cryptocurrency, has moved from energy-intensive proof-of-work to the more eco-friendly proof-of-stake. Some enthusiasts dream of space mining using solar energy in orbit. Sounds like science fiction, right? Maybe, but who knows what the future holds. In conclusion, Bitcoin mining isn't just a way to make money, it's a crucial mechanism that ensures the network security and decentralization. Miners are the guardians of the blockchain's integrity, without whom Bitcoin couldn't exist. The world of cryptocurrencies is rapidly evolving, surprising us with new technologies and possibilities. Who knows, in a few years we might look back at today's mining as a thing of the past. Or maybe it will become an integral part of the global financial system. One thing is for sure, it won't be boring. Stay tuned guys, learn about the technology and keep up with the latest trends in the world of cryptocurrencies. Hope you learned something new and interesting. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments guys. See you in the next video.